Remember, we're going to race the race in your program. It'll be the ladies first. Consolation and championship. Same time. Always gonna have that in our blood, you know. It's through our four legged brother, we're gonna pray with him, talk with him. Give him a good blessing, they treat you well, you treat them well. And when you run that horse around the track, you're 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 one, you're not two. This program was made possible in part by Pacific Mountain Network, the Greater Montana Foundation, encouraging communication on issues, trends, and values of importance to Montanans, Humanities Montana, the Montana Office of Tourism, the Gilhausen Family Foundation, and the Friends of Montana PBS. This program was made possible by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it brings us down to the National Championship of the Indian Relay Race. It's do or die time. They're going to lay it all on the line. There will be nothing spared out on the race course. In the number one hole will be the team of Tissa Dima. They come to you from Fort Hall, Idaho. I'm just gonna go for it. Playtime's over, joking around is over. It. In the number two hole, the Murray team. They come to you from Browning, Montana. Yeah. All right, win. Come on, you can do it. If we win, it's gonna be sloppy. I ain't gonna lie. In the yellow and green, the high point team thus far coming in here from Pro Agency Montana, Eminem Express and Sack Good riders, the heart and soul of the team. And Zach's a big part of it. Big part of our team, our family. He's like a son to us. I got four horses right now. Three of them are mares and one's a gelding. We got three five-year-olds and one six-year-old. I think I should do, I think I might do all right this year. I don't know.
we bought a couple horses last fall, but he was basically starting from from nothing, you know. The one man team. It's fun. I like riding horses, but I'm, it's kind of, I'm kind of scared a little bit because anything could happen. I want people to overcome the fears they've had in life. The other reason I'm I'm involved is um, I think it's constructive for the young people at home to have something to do like this. Been pretty much just me. My mom kind of helps with this one because I got sick and it's really skinny. I'd like to see the sport grow, especially here on this res, but there's not that many really good riders. They don't know the techniques, they don't know the training, the dedication that comes with it. A lot of these guys think they just gotta show up race day and jump on a horse and go. And that isn't the case. You can see Zach Rock, he's here every day. I used to be pretty bad. I used to go out and party, and I mean, I was just kind of a rowdy kind of dude, you know, and that was just my lifestyle. When he was born, I said, you know, I gotta, I gotta stop it. When it comes to it, I always look for things that are gonna help him out. 10, 15, 20 years down the line, you know, my grandkids and, and everybody, you know, what, what, how is it going to affect them? Last year, we a championship race. Coming around on our first horse and went to go jump on. Next thing I know, I was wake up in the hospital. And I heard that slap. Oh, oh then you go, God darn it. I said, God darn it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I no. don't. Try not to cuss. I have, I've always been like that. <laughs> Lance, he's always calling, you want to buy a horse? No. Too many. But he's pretty excited about this horse. Oh, we just bought another horse. Woo! Woo! Did you? Yeah. Really? Yeah, he, he got it last night. We have them. <laughs> what did he run? I think he's like five and a half, six dollars. Horses make families come together. I just feel real close to them. They make me feel good and energized inside. If I didn't have them, I don't know what I'd do. I'd be, I guess I'd be lost if, I, if they weren't backside of the house. When do you guys start running? Tomorrow, tonight. Are you serious? <laughs> We'll see you Tuesday or Wednesday. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. When they're climbing up the hills, they got to put more power into the jump and then they got to pull harder with the front. So. What we use it for is the start. When they're gonna take off, they gotta put in a lot of power to get that start out of the box. Bring 
Give me that lever up there. I think this is one sport where you get to prove yourself against other tribes. This is a good way to show your horsemanship. Show what you can or can't do out there. And I think that's what that what makes a lot of these teams stay in the game. To see who can stay on top the longest or who can outrun and, and outtrain everybody else. Indian Relay, I want to do it because my uncle LP did it. I usually didn't go for his team, no, back then. I went for the Kirkle Dees because they used to win a lot. <laughs> yeah, I used to always get in trouble for that. <laughs> this kid doesn't know anything about training horses or training a team of four men and five horses. I don't really got nobody right now, but I'll probably find holders by the time Relay starts around that time. It's kind of been on and off. I've been going every day about five times a week. And I'll be riding them every day now. I got a bunch of little grandsons coming up and uh, they need a hero. I'd like it to be their oldest cousin. The reins on those horses because Everybody's ready except for us. I hope they wear the shirt that he ripped. Good. Yeah. No, that new one. You got your shirt on? Grab your shirt. Mm -hmm. All right, girl. Oh, come on, you guys, stay lit for me. Hold on, I'm tired of swimming. Get up. Okay, use some of this, guys. We have to. Here go, this pancha. One hand. Good luck. You know what? Here go, Luke, pancha. They're over here on Mother's Day. What do you think about Indian really, ladies and gentlemen? They're about ready to go. And away they go. This is a five-day-mile track. Yep. It is going to be another two horses. And here they come in front of the grandstand for the first exchange. It is Rock Team in front of the grandstand. Now just leaving the 
has high expectations and I have high expectations. What I want after hearing what my little boy said to me last year, I think it gives me a drive. He wants me to quit because of the accidents and stuff. And if I could just take him on the track and say, see, this is what dad accomplished by all the hard work and dedication. Because if I can do it at my age, you're only eight years old now. If you put your mind to it, you can do anything you want to do. And the stretch they are with something sonic. It's something sonic. Race number seven to the paddock area. Race seven. Punkin got a bad start. And he was about like 15 lengths behind when they dropped the flag. It looked like to me when they come come around, you were what, second, first? Second. Second. We caught back up on him. Punkin came in, perfect. And that uh, horse just took one big step and then Punkin ended up way back far, or too far, and then took a, like a second to gather him. And then he ripped out of there and went pretty good after that. I was like, oh, he's going to catch him. He's going to catch him. Here, then Sheridan. Fort Hall, back to Crow, and then the national championship. So everything from here on out is, are, the, are the big races. Now the real season begins. I think any race where you go to is pretty much bragging rights wherever you go. Racing against Zach is pretty good. Just. The first one to mess up out of me and him is going to lose. That's basically how it goes. Tessa Demet? Yeah, you got to keep your eye on those guys. They're running tough here, man. They got good horses. You just got to keep your eye on every team, you know? Anything can happen out there. You know, I'm getting nervous. Something's wrong. Every race that starter is everybody saying get back, get back, you know, get back. And that's when that's when the big mistake is turning the first one to turn back. So that's a rookie move bad. And then boom, they took off and horse has the turn and get going and then you're how many strides behind and everybody's straight already going. Bringing up the rear is the Yeah. <laughs> 
neck and neck race. Eminem Express is now making a move, has taken over the lead. Here they come. Go, go! Eminem Express is taking over the lead. 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 Eminem Express
Murray team now moves into the lead as they overcome the impact and it's the wider team, DJ Impact. When things are going good, you know, everybody's all happy and and seeming like they're pulling together. But when they're not winning, you know, they still have to have the character to get up and and take care of the horses and take care of themselves. Also, a set of the rules, which includes unsportsmanlike conduct, animal cruelty, and arguing with the judges. Uh, traditional costume, breechcloth, and moccasins. We certainly want to keep it, keep it as native as we can. Yes, sir. He's trying to play like it, you know, it's going to be an overnight deal. It's going to be a long process. I mean, you. You don't recover from a torn kidney, a torn liver, and a punctured lung overnight. It's a real tough situation with Zach not here. New rider, doesn't know our horses. Zach Rock, who was a brother to Luke Rock for the 2010 World Champion Rock Relay Team, he got injured very seriously in pro agency on a practice run. He's in the grandstand. If you could, please give him a round of applause. Zach Rock of Love Stress, Montana. It's all on line here. We're ready to go. Away we go, can't keep your self-worth together, you'll fail. And um, your team will dissolve. That's really what the stakes are of Indian Relay. You know, I probably wouldn't have mind waiting until next year when he's completely healed. But it's a choice he made. 
And yeah, every race we go out there, you know, it's in the back of my mind. You know, what if something happens? We still got the safety vest on. We're going to wear that for the remainder of the year, every race that we run. Mountain Timber with John Mark Stoka. One stretch to go. Well, out there, you're just like, when you're going, you're just kind of calm. It's your uh, focus. Feels good to ride. Feels good when you win. I like it. Little tiny things are happening out here, and this is hurting us. The little tiny things cost us big problems. Brush it off, just wipe it off. You hold it in and you hold that anger. It can make you sick. It's starting to get better now. It's starting to feel better. Hopefully, pick first or second tomorrow and try win the championship. He's in there. He's getting it done. He actually beat us a couple times, you know. Oh, I'm nervous for him. Because <laughs> if he doesn't win, you know, how is that going to feel? Pretty nervous. Don't know, we got some pretty tough teams that are in the championship with us. So. You're gonna win something. Fort Hall's the place to win. And the flag are dropped on championship dash is underway. It's do or die time. Who will get a flag? What's gonna be the team of White Cap? Ethan Danger, stay on fire all week long. We stayed there. What do you mean? I can talk. I'm not doing nothing. I can talk. It's 
a competitive sport. A lot of, a lot of these guys like to win. I don't know. I kind of thought everybody just did it just to have fun, but no, I know everybody does it to win. Always pretty confident um, in our horses and the rider and the way we set up and everything. You know, but especially when we go down this way, the thing that always is on my mind is at one, what point are they going to disqualify? This is my Nimskin. It's a, it's like a rock. I don't know. It's kind of good luck thing. I believe in it. I don't know if it works, but I believe in it. I was missing it for two years, and I found it. It was in my like old basket, dirty clothes. So I start wearing it again. Oh, it's me. I mug. Andy. He rides and. Cheech, he holds, and Adam, he holds.
Brooks, you gotta help me when we come in. Sure, yeah. There he goes. When it isn't happening, we got to figure out some other way to do it and make it happen. So by the time that we get out there, we know exactly what we're doing and what each person's going to have to do throughout the race. I mean, you want every exchange to be picture perfect, you know, and it's tough, but that's the way we roll. So tomorrow will be a lot better set up with the way we're going to do it now. Wait, wait, wait. We going up, Jason? Before the race, he was in bad shape. He was hurting. He was hurting pretty bad. And he goes, well, I'll be fine when, once we get going. Once we get going, I'll be all right. In that first exchange, it was good. It looked good, and then came around next one, and he came in, jumped. He wasn't quite on, and the horse stepped, and he just kind of just fell off so easy. After that, he just couldn't get on, couldn't get on the horse. Then he just flipped off the other side and landed right back on his back again, stepped on him, bumped him on the head, and he was in bad, bad shape then. He's, he's hurting, can't walk, can't bend down, can't stand up straight. So I'll pray for you, for you to heal up. He goes, I'll be all right. When they didn't win, they weren't accepting their own personal responsibility. They were saying, it's this, it's that, you know, it's you. Today we got smoked, couldn't hold the horses. We need to place first, first these next two days to even, to even uh, qualify for a championship. But Pumpkin said he can't ride. I haven't rode in a long time. Went around that turn, they kept on like all over the horse. Jeez, <laughs> they're getting wear out. Losing my balance. just a fast horse. And he ran us down in the second turn. And we'll see what happens tomorrow. I didn't think we were going to win at all down here. We won two days, though. I just hope we kind of do good tomorrow, upset everybody.
I don't mind losing now. It's my first year. Kind of get mad, but not really. I didn't even picture me even riding. And then boom, boom, here we are. Here I am riding horses. That's all I can think about right now. Is my knees gonna hold up? Am I gonna sprain my ankle? I don't wanna come up injured or anything like that. Cause I, want, I like my knees, I like my who I am right now walking straight. I had a hand it to that little kitty, you know. He had that old veteran, thought he had it made. It's relay, it's relay. I mean, one day you're on top, next day you're on bottom. I never expected that I was going to ride, and <laughs> that's it's even better. <laughs> Get 
Get him behind the line. He dropped him. We're up and running in the national championship. John Mark Smith got a win over Carl Lee. Carl Lee's going to show the way. Boogie Boys, Eminem and Crest go the line and four wide. Up the left side they go. The two yellows in front. That's a Carlson and Eminem. Eminem's on the outside. Carlson to the inside. Eminem now blows the front. Carlson in two seconds. As they come in for the first switch on the second horse, Murray's got a ton of ground to make up. They roll in here. Boogie Boys is there. Down at the far end, Toby's on. Has to take a shot away from there. Get the ball. On the far end. away for a national championship from Crow Agency, Montana. They show the way. John Mark's gun cap. He's pretty close to the lead. They come to the wire as they're rolling here for their final leg. Relay so such an unpredictable sport that every race you don't know what you're going to be up against. If your horse decides to blow up or not stop. He's got to hope for the best and see if he can have as good as a year as we had this year. When the horse came to the Indian, our life got very prosperous. And I think in our back of our mind, we relate those. It's glory, it's excitement, but it's prosperity at the same time. So when your cousin's brother or something is riding that fast horse around there, everybody draws to it and they relate to it. Winning feels good, but that's not the main thing. It's just being out there. And if you lose, you still walk off the track and laugh at each other and tease each other and just joke around about it. First horse just froze up. I don't know what happened to it. Something was wrong with it today. I didn't think we'd catch up that much. I just think you guys would catch up. It's all right though. Still, still young. <laughs> I bought him a pair of reins for next year that he picked out and wanted for next year. I kind of want to try having two teams next year. I want to help Keenan and Braley. I want to help Braley get started in with hers and Keenan get going right and better. I want to focus on them. It's our competitive nature that puts us into this sport. And then it's our pride that keeps us in it, keeps us going. And the number one thing over everything is the pride of our tribes, the pride of our nations, why teams work so hard 
to do so good. Indian Relay is available on DVD. To order, call 1-800-406-6383 or visit montanapbs.org. This program was made possible in part by Pacific Mountain Network, the Greater Montana Foundation, Encouraging communication on issues, trends, and values of importance to Montanans. Humanities Montana. The Montana Office of Tourism. The Gilhausen Family Foundation. And the Friends of Montana PBS. This program was made possible by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting.